Hello and welcome to Yoga Flow with Monica. I am Monica and today we have slightly diff different class. It's Pilates inspired class. Um, so it will be quite ch challenging class for your core and all basically abdominal wall, but it's very beneficial as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we're going to start in a lay down position. So just go, uh, come onto your backs, lay down, keep the knees bent. Comfortably bend, relax the back. Let yourself to settle in quickly into the pose. Feel how your spine slowly releasing into the floor. Inhaling, exhaling. You can even close the eyes for a second. Two more here. And one more. Wonderful. And what we're going to do now, we're going to start moving out our pelvis. So what we're going to do first, imagine that you're arching your lower back. So really trying to bring the lower back away from the floor. And then with an exhale, engage those abdominals and push the lower back into the floor as much as you can. Try to keep the arms relaxed next to you. Again, arching that lower back, lifting the belly up. Exhaling, engage abdominals, push it into the floor. Three more times. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push the lower back into the floor twice more. Inhale, up. Exhale, feel how those abdominals even hugging your belly and pushing into the floor one more time. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push. And then just release a tiny bit, but feel how when you release a little bit, the lower back slightly lifts, but overall abdominals are engaged. And as I mentioned, it's kind of like almost hugging your belly from the sides. This is the very important position, especially when we will be working um, on, um, on our back. So try to keep all that focus on your abdominal wall, okay? What we're gonna do now, we're gonna come, we're gonna do the warm up. It's called hundreds. I'm not gonna count, I always lose it. But we're gonna lift the head and shoulder blades up. We're gonna lift the arms as well, parallel to the floor, palms facing down. And we're gonna start lifting arms up and down. Very small movements, but fast, okay? And you can even breathe like inhale and then exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, continue breathing, continue moving those palms, arms. Try to relax the shoulders and neck. Engage those abdominals, continue breathing. Continue breathing, couple more. And then we slow release it down, relax. Observe how you feel. Inhale, exhale, two more here, and one more. Great. What we're going to do now, we're going to extend the legs, and they can be a bit higher or a bit lower. You choose. We're going to lift again into the position, so we're lifting the shoulder blades and head, palms facing down, arms parallel to the floor, and we continue doing more or less 100 of them. Continue breathing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Continue breathing. Engage those abdominals. As I mentioned, I tried to count 20 more here. And last 10. And release, bring those knees into your chest, hug them. Feel the heat coming into your chest, your neck, head. Feel the sensations in your belly. One more breath here. And then we're going to extend the left leg and let it release 
to the floor first. Bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, exhale, looking up. So neck is neutral in line with the spine. And then we're gonna switch. So release the left leg to the floor. Bring, sorry, right leg to the floor. Bring the left knee into your chest. Wonderful. And we're gonna switch again, but this time don't let that left leg to release all the way to the floor, okay? And switch again. So you can do, uh, you can stay here, or you can even lift again the head and the shoulder blades and continue switching. So again, a little bit more dynamic. You can go even faster than I do. Don't forget to breathe. Keep pushing those knees gently into you when they come towards your chest. Couple more here. Continue breathing. Remember, abdominals engaged. They're hugging your belly and pushing your lower back into the floor. One more breath here. And then just release the head down. If you had it up, hug the knees, relax. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. And one more. Wonderful. We're gonna release the left leg to the floor again, but this time we're gonna stretch the right leg up, okay? And we're gonna try to grab the, your calf, okay? With both arms and bring that knee again towards you. Lift the head and shoulders if possible, and then switch. So release that right leg to the floor, bring the left leg into you. And now we're gonna switch again, but without releasing that other leg to the floor, okay? So just switch and switch, switch and switch. Legs are engaged, your abdominals engaged, relax shoulders, neck, continue breathing. Couple more here with the straight legs. Gentle pull of your leg towards you. Couple more. Stay with me. And one and two and one and two and two more. One and two and release it down. Observe how you feel. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. And one more. Wonderful. Release your feet to the floor and just roll to any side. We're gonna come into all fours, okay? So come into all fours. Again, like in yoga, we're gonna bring the shoulders just above the wrists, knees just underneath your hips, okay? Try coming into nice tabletop position. Observe how you feel. Inhale and exhale. One more. And apply the pressure into your feet, top of your feet. We're gonna push the feet into the floor, so the top of your feet, kind of your ankles, and lift the knees a little bit. Just a couple of inches, couple centimeters from the floor. Try not to round the back. Inhale and exhale. One more. And then release it down. Bring the big toes together, release your glutes towards the heels. Relax the head to the floor. Let your arms release. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. And one more. Wonderful. We're going to come back into all fours. Great. We're going to extend the left leg behind you and right arm in front of you, okay? You can lift that leg up if you wish. And you're gonna stay here for five, or you can drive the knee and the elbow into each other, and then inhale, extend, four more. So staying still or movement, moving. Inhale, extend, exhale, bring the knee into the elbow. Inhale, extend, two more. Exhale, in, inhale, extend, last one. Exhale, rounding the back a little bit. Inhale, extending and releasing down, wonderful. Another side, okay? So 
other leg extends and lifts, then the opposite arm in front of you, and you're gonna stay here. Make sure that the hips are not opening up, so they're in line, or you drive the knee into the elbow. And with an inhale, extend again. Four more. Inhale, extend, three more. Exhale, come, knee into the elbow. Inhale, extend, two more. And last one. Wonderful, release the palm, release the knee. Bring the big toes together, release the glutes to the heels. Relax for a second, so let your wrist to release, okay, completely, inhale. Exhale completely. And we're gonna come back up, but this time we're gonna come into the plank position. So extend the legs behind you and lift the knees away from the floor. If that is definitely too challenging, remember you can release the knees down, but it's important that you continue to have your abdominals engaged, trying to keep that very nice line from the top of your head all the way to your knees, okay? So we're gonna stay here for five. Four, don't collapse, down, three, push into those arms, two, and one, wonderful, release the knees down, drive the glutes back, relax for a second, let your wrist relax, we're going to come back into one more plank, wonderful, start coming back up, and again, choose your plank, and this time we're gonna try to lift one leg, then another. Or if you with the knees, lift the knees, okay? We're gonna try to do 10 of them. So five with each leg. So one and two, three and four, five and six, continue breathing. Seven and eight, nine and 10. Wonderful. Release the knees, relax the glutes towards the heels. Let your wrist relax completely. Catch your breath. One more breath. And we're gonna come back to our belly. So release yourself to the belly. And we're gonna extend the arms in front of you. <laughs> you don't have loads of space here, but we're gonna extend the arms in front. Palms facing down and legs are engaged. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the head, arms and legs, and we're gonna lift opposite arm and leg up, and then switch. So imagine like swimming. So we're gonna do two sets, so just try first. Engage abdominals, continue breathing, look down. Make sure your spine and neck is in line, continue moving the legs and the arms. One more breath. And then relax for a second. So release the head to your arms or your ear to the floor, whatever feels comfortable. Make sure you're relaxing. We're gonna do this set too, okay? Inhale, exhale. So this exercise is wonderful for strengthening your back. Just make sure that your lower spine is not painful, okay? So if it was hurting a little bit in your lower spine, I suggest you to rest through this. So don't do anything, just continue relaxing. For others, if you don't have any issues, again, lift the arms, lift the legs, everything is engaged, and then start lifting the right arm and left leg, and then the left arm and right leg, and switch. Do maybe a little bit more faster, a little bit more dynamic. Continue breathing, point the toes if you can. Two more breaths here. And one more. And release. Wonderful. Couple more breaths here. One more. And then we're gonna roll onto the right side. So keep your elbow bent, elbow just underneath your shoulder. And legs are in line if you want to work a little bit harder. Or you can always have that right leg a little bit bent, okay? We're gonna work a little bit on our glutes now. So I prefer to have the left palm just in front of me. That helps me with the balance. Abdominals engaged, shoulders, facial muscles relaxed. Engage that left leg, maybe point the toes if possible. And then we're gonna start lifting the leg up 
and down, okay? Up and down, but without moving our upper body, okay? And down, up and down. Six more, up and down. You might be able to lift a bit higher than I do, it's okay. Up and down, up and down. Three more, up and down up and down and the last one up and down wonderful relax for a second and then release yourself to the triceps release your head to your palm again engaging abdominals making sure that we're not falling backwards or too much forward okay it should be nice line so your hips are in line we're gonna lift that left leg up again engage the leg and we're gonna drive it forward and backward, trying to keep on the same level, okay? So it's not like up and down, it's more like forward and backward, okay? We're gonna do 10 of them as well. So when you're ready, go forward and backwards. Very good, forward and backwards. Engage abdominals, especially when you go back. Forward and back, forward and back. Six more, forward, back, continue breathing. Forward, back, four more. Relax your facial muscles back forward and back two more forward and back and last one forward and back wonderful release the knee to the knee you can even bend into the knees a little bit more so kind of stacking the knee one on top of each other relax for a second inhale and exhale and we're gonna do clamps now okay this is a wonderful exercise for your medius gluteus which tends to be quite weak since we sit so much so you we're gonna open the knees but we're not gonna open the feet okay so the feet stays glued to each other okay and then we slowly close it but one important thing when you open don't just move your side as well from side to side your side, your right side is glued as well to the floor, okay? So it's very like we're just abducting the legs, okay? We're just working in our glutes basically, okay? So when you're ready, 10 of them as well. Open and close, wonderful. Open and close, open and close. Relax your facial muscles, your mouth. Open and close, five more left open and close four more open close open close doesn't have to be fast open and close last one open and close wonderful relax you can release your head to your bicep let it relax inhale exhale completely and we're gonna switch to the other side okay so come to the other side Again, similar position. First, the elbow bend just underneath your shoulder, remember? Keep that right leg bent if you wish. And extend the le uh, left, uh, right leg just at the top now, okay? So the left leg is on the floor. When you're ready, engage the leg and we're gonna start lifting up and down. It might feel a bit different. Up and down, this side is much tighter for me. Up and down, seven more. Up and down, try not to collapse into the shoulder. Up and down, five more. Up and down, up and down. Don't forget to breathe. Up and down, two more. Up and down, one more. Up and down, wonderful. We're gonna release ourselves to our uh, into our palm, okay? So the tricep is on the floor. Again, try not to uh, lose that uh, connection to your abdominal wall. Okay, so the abdominals are engaged. Lift the leg up again, and we're gonna drive it forward and back as far as you can. Forward and back, eight more. Forward and back, upper body's not moving. Forward and back, engage those abdominals, six more. Forward and back, forward and back, just four more left. Forward and back forward back two more forward and back last one forward and back wonderful release the knees so bend into them even a little bit more relax for a second inhale 
exhale and remember your side is not moving your feet are glued together so it's only the knees that opening up and the inner thighs okay so when you're ready 10 of these open and close slow control movements open and close open and close seven more open close open and close five more you can use the resistance bands if you want open that helps you to increase the resistance okay if you want to make it a little bit harder okay two more left open and close and one more open and close wonderful relax completely release your head to your biceps observe how you feel one more And we're going to come back to our backs. So just come back to your backs. We're going to lift the legs up, knees bend, shins parallel to the ceiling. Try to bring the knees a little bit forward so they really in line with your abdominals. Once you've done that, you will see your abdominals naturally will engage, okay? And try to keep that engagement. The lower back is not arching. Remember, abdominals are hugging the belly in and pushing gently into the floor. And then we're gonna start releasing right leg down, keeping that leg bent. The, just the big toe touches the floor, and then we're gonna lift it back. Other side, slowly down, and lift it up. Eight more times, four times both sides, down and up, and then left side down, and up, slow movements, right, down, and up, left, down, and up, four more, down, and up, engage abdominals, and you lift the leg back up, down, and up, very slow, super controlled, okay, down, and up, and last one, down, and up, wonderful, hug those knees into your chest, Inhale, exhale, one more. Great, this is our last harder exercise after we just cooling down. So we're gonna lift the legs up. You can bring the palms just underneath your glutes if you wish, if not, just keep it next to your body. Again, really engaging abdominals, already like hugging the belly in with our abdominal wall, okay? And then we're gonna start releasing the right leg down again, super slow and control movement. Release as much as you can or until your lower back starts lifting up. Then stop and lift back up, okay? And then left leg, very slowly, no rush. And up, wonderful, eight more. Right leg down and slowly up. Doesn't go to, doesn't have to go as, as low as mine, okay? Just check in with your, lower spine and then left leg up six more slow control movement so this is the slower you go the more beneficial will be to your body other side going down and up four more left last exercise as i mentioned stay with me slowly lifting back up left leg down and up relax your jaw and mouth Last two, right leg, slowly, 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 slowly coming back up. Don't forget to breathe. And last one, left leg down and up. And hug the knees into the chest, relax completely. Inhale, exhale, one more. Then roll to any side. Come into seated position, but keep the legs to one side. So kind of like a mermaid pose, I think sometimes it's called. And we're gonna release the, so if the legs are towards the right side, release the right arm to the floor, and then lift the left arm up and over. Just a nice stretch of the side body. Maybe go even a bit deeper. Look up if it feels okay on your neck. One more breath. Coming back, and we're gonna switch. So bring the legs to the other side, come into seated position, then release the arm in front of your legs, and reach the other arm up and over. 
Inhale, exhale, maybe look up. One more breath. Wonderful. Relax. Bring the soles of the feet together. Open the knees wide. And we're going to grab our ankles and we're going to push the chest forward a little bit and maybe look up. And then just relax and release. So now the, the back is rounding. You're completely relaxing, observing how you feel. One more deep inhale and exhale. And come back to any comfortable seated position. We're just going to stretch out our deltoids a little bit. So bring the right arm across, then bring the left palm into your tricep and push the arm into you. And then release the shoulder down and continue pulling that arm towards the left side, okay? But shoulder should be down, away from the ear. Just one more breath here. And switch. The left arm goes across first pushing the arm into you, releasing the left shoulder, and then pulling towards the right side a little bit more, that left arm. One more breath. Then release, bring the arms behind you, grab your elbows or your forearms, or you can even interlace the palms, open the chest, look up, deep inhale, full exhale. And relax. Observe how you feel, how your energy is feeling within you. And we finished. So I hope you like this uh, Pilates inspired class. As I mentioned, it's a little bit different. Uh, we work a lot around our abdominal wall, which is so important to have it strong. Uh, so if you like this class, just drop the comment underneath and I will prepare more classes like that. And as always, I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye.